like 9.30. It was like 9.21 or 9.30 when the morning bus started. The bus did not come until like 10.15. So I was late. I was the latest one to get there. And then Miss Michelle was calling me. First Alicia was calling me. Where you at? I'm like, all right. I'm like, I'm coming. I'm still on a bus stop. I've been waiting on this bus. This, this, and that. That was 10.30. Right. I'm like, I'm still on a bus stop. Yada, yada, yada. What time are we supposed to be there? 10 o'clock. So, all right. I get out the phone with Alicia. I'm trying to call Miss Michelle. She finally called me, and I'm like, no. I called her. I was like, Miss Michelle, like, you didn't leave me or anything, did you? She like, no. Um, we waiting for Alicia. When Alicia come, I'll call you, and we see where you at. I'm like, all right. But this 22 bus ride is so long. <laughs> all these kids was on a bus, and it was 10.30 in the morning. They should have been in school. But anyway, I don't have nothing to do with it. So when Miss Michelle finally came and got me, well, we met at the Royal Farms and I got in a car and I apologized because I really did feel bad for making her late. Like, we was really late to the point where she didn't get to go up and talk like she was supposed to. So I was upset about that because I wanted to see her up there. But um, when we got there, basically, well, it was this, it was this lady that sat at our table. She was so rude. And she just kept talking about she wants some butter. She had food. She, she was the only one that had a, a cupcake and said that ate it in everybody's face. Like, <laughs> and was looking around the table like, yeah, I got my cupcake. What? Like, ate it in our face. And then when that man sung his song, like, it was, I don't care what y'all say, that song was nice, like, yes. that song was nice, and I sat there, and I yes. smiled the whole time, whole Kool-Aid <laughs> smile, I enjoyed his song, and when the, um, the lady from Essence Magazine, I guess she was the one who hosted it, but, oh, it was called the, um, Black Women Roundtable, I think, yeah, the Black Women Roundtable. And it was basically, you know, women from all over. It wasn't just women from D.C., but it was women from all over. And they talked about what they do as far as mentoring, where they are in their careers, and how they help younger people, how they got where they are, and just gave us, like, little hints and clues as to what we can follow, like, guidelines to help us get where we want to be. And Tell them about when the woman choked and they made the announcement. Oh. This woman, she started choking. And out of all these women that's in here, right? Like, all these women, the only thing they had to say on the microphone was, uh, you have a doctor in here? Women straight got up, went over there, like. Popped right up. Just like, like, like that. Right yeah. There. Doctors, it nurses. Mm. What did that do for you when you saw that? It just made me think, like, it's amazing just being in that kind of setting where you have people who can do anything and you want to surround yourself with people like that. And that's basically what they were saying. Like, you don't want to be around people who are going to bring you down. You want to be around people who are either going in the same direction that you want to go or people who are going to help you get there who are already there. Wonderful. So.